Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Ifa Tunde Ogun Tade. This is your big brother, Dr. Ifa Tunde Ogun Tade. This is your big brother, Dr. Ifa Tunde Ogun Tade, coming to you live and direct from Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti, Michigan. Ypsilanti, Michigan is going down tonight. It's going down this afternoon. Eastern Michigan University. Black August kickoff event. Eastern Michigan University. Black August kickoff event. Brothers and sisters, if you're not registered, you can still pull up. You can register at the door. Brothers and sisters, if you're not registered, you can still pull up. You can register at the door. Brothers and sisters, if you're not registered, you can still pull up and register at the door, brothers and sisters. It is all free. You don't need no tickets. You don't need no money. Just show on up, brothers and sisters. Bring the children. Bring the elders. Bring the men, the women. Bring the activists. Bring the coons, the Negro peons. Bring the Democratic Party plantation slaves and the Republican Party plantation slaves. Bring everybody, brothers and sisters. This is King Kong consciousness. Bring everybody, brothers and sisters. This is King Kong consciousness. Detroit Africans, where you at? Kalamazoo Africans, where you at? Inkster Africans, Grand Rapids Africans, Kalamazoo Africans, Ann Arbor Africans, where you at, brothers and sisters? Highland Park Africans is going down. The doors are open. Eastern Michigan University, Black Consciousness Conference, Black August kickoff. We in the building. We in the building. It's your big brother, King Kong. We in the building. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me. If you was there, you would do what, J. Lee plans? If you was there, you would do what, J. Lee plans? Consciousness is always over the cookies. Politics is always over the punani. Revolution is always before the romance. Institutions is always before the intimacy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Brothers and sisters. We doing it again tomorrow. If you can't make it today, come tomorrow. It's a two-day free Black Consciousness Conference at Eastern Michigan University in Ypsilanti. I had a powerful, powerful Underground Railroad tour this morning. I had a powerful, powerful underground railroad tour this morning, brothers and sisters. It was powerful, got me in the mood, the intellectual mood, the spiritual mood. Now it's time to drop science, raise consciousness. That is the wrong cash app. We have a coon putting the wrong cash app out there, you scammer. Y'all see that? He put the wrong cash app out there. My interest matters 2.0. You ain't nothing but a Negro pen. Gonna come on my live and put a scamming cash app on here, you Negroes. You Negroes. If you can't make it today from 3 to 8, come tomorrow from 3 to 8. If you can't make it today from 3 to 7, come tomorrow with 3 to 7. You in love with an artificial woman, that's your business. Why are you coming on my feed with that? If you in love with an artificial woman, that's your business. Why are you coming on my feed with that? If you in love with an artificial woman, that's your business. Don't come on my feed with that, brothers and sisters. We are about organically African on this page. On this page, we are organically African. And today, I'm going to take some pictures with some organically African Michigan queens. I'm going to take some pictures with some organically African Detroit queens and some organically African Inkster queens and some organically African Flint queens and some organically African Grand Rapids Queens and some organically African Big Rapids Queens, some organically African Eastern Michigan University students and some organically African Western Michigan University students and some organically African University of Michigan students. Oh, yes. King Kong consciousness is here, family. Detroit, Ypsilanti, Ann Arbor, Flint, Big Rapids, Grand Rapids. It's the Black Consciousness Conference at Eastern Michigan University today and tomorrow, brothers and sisters. Today and tomorrow. From three until seven. I'm rocking my all whites today. I'm on Obatala. 
Orishan La, Orisha Foon Foon. I'm representing Obatala tonight. Righteousness, higher consciousness, the energy of creation, spiritual expansion, leadership, character, righteousness, and integrity. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where are my queens? Now, let me check in with the Ifa Tunde Queendom. If you are a proud member of the Dr. Umar Ifa Tunde Queendom, make some noise, ladies. Do I have any butter almond in the chat? Do we have any butter pecan in the chat? Do we have any cinnamon in the chat? Do we have any sweet brown sugar in the chat? Oh, yes. Do we have any smooth nutmeg in the chat? Do we have some warm peanut butter in the chat? Do we have the chocolate fudge in the chat? Do we got some African pina colada in the chat? Some African lemonade in the chat? Oh, yes. Some African vanilla in the chat? Oh, yes. We got any natural, where my naturally hair queens at? Where my unapologetically na nappy queens at? I'm looking for my unapologetically nappy queens, mahogany queens, dark cherry queens, dark walnut queens, sweet brown sugar queens. Oh, yes. Cocoa butter, shea butter, almond butter. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I love me an African woman. Oh, I love me an African woman. Ain't nothing like a black woman with her natural hair. Ain't nothing like an African queen rocking her own natural hair. Woo! And don't let her be five foot five thick in the thighs. Don't let her be five foot one thick in the thighs. Don't let her be five foot nine thick in the thighs. Don't let her be five foot three or five foot four thick in the thighs. Don't let her be five seven or five eight. Thick in the thighs, brothers and sisters. You said I'm going to get a cavity from all that sweetness, huh? The black queen's going to give me a cavity. They so sweet. Lord have mercy. Give me an African queen cavity. Oh, yes. I'll go to the dentist for that. Give me an African queen cavity. I will gladly go to the dentist to get my African queen cavity filled. I'm going to tell the dentist it's so much sweetness in the African queendom. It's so much sugar in the African queendom. Oh, Lord, there's so much sweetness in the African queen, them dentists. I got a cavity just by looking at a black woman. That's how you know the African woman is queen. That's how you know you're dealing with a fine sister when you're just looking at a sister and you catch a cavity. Black man, you ever look at a queen who was so sweet and so fine, she gave you a cavity just looking at her. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Black queens forever? Snow bunnies never. Say it with me, family. Black queens forever? Snow bunnies never. Say it with me, family. Black queens forever. I need two black women to volunteer for the third annual FDMG Festival fashion show wedding scene. I need two African queens to volunteer to be my wives. This is not a real wedding. This is the wedding scene for the fashion show of the third annual Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Festival. I need some queens. I need two queens. Y'all cannot be the same complexion because I don't want to get accused of being a light-skinned supremacist or dark-skinned supremacist. So y'all cannot be the same complexion. We got two queens. I need two queens. Who wants to be in the fashion show and get married to Dr. Umar? Who wants to be in the fashion show and get married to Dr. Umar? I need two queens. Two queens. I don't mind if you a skinny queen for the marriage. You got to be a curvy queen in real life, but you could be my wife for the fashion show. My thin mint queens, shout out to the thin mint queens, the extra petite, super slim queen. Shout out to the thin mint queens. I don't do the thin mints, but hey, shout out to the thin mints. You could be in the you could be in the FDMG fashion show as a thin mint, but the real wives got to be, got to be, got to be, got to be, got to be curvy family. You got to. I got to come home to curves, brothers and sisters. I got to come home to some mac and cheese. I got to come home to some deviled eggs. I got to come home to some greens and turkey juice. I got to come home to some sweet potato pie. I got to come home to some lamb chops, some turkey chops. I got to come home to some beef brisket. It could be vegan, my vegan African queens. It could be vegan, my vegan African queens. But I got to come home to some Cinnabons. Oh, yes. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. 
Cinnabons are mandatory, my brothers and sisters. If she ain't got no Cinnabons, let's refocus, brothers and sisters. We must stay focused. Let's get back to the politics. The politics of the situation are we have an East Indian presidential candidate and we have a Caucasian presidential candidate. We have an East Indian presidential candidate and we have a Caucasian presidential candidate. We have an East Indian presidential candidate and we have a Caucasian presidential candidate. The American African community is in the process of deciding if they should vote for the East Indian presidential candidate or the Caucasian presidential candidate. That's the decision. Now, I see a lot of emotional Negroes in the chat. There's a lot of emotional blacks who practice identity politics. They're going to vote for Kamala Harris because she's closer in complexion to them than Donald Trump. So far, I have heard the irrational Negro logic of voting for Kamala Harris because she, she is closer in complexion to African people than Donald Trump. That's what you call dysfunctional identity politics. Dysfunctional identity politics. Has anybody asked Kamala Harris what she's going to do about the migrant crisis? Has anybody asked Kamala Harris why isn't the Democratic Party taking care of black people the way they take care of illegal immigrants? Has anybody asked Kamala Harris any of these questions? Nobody has asked her. But you're going to vote for her because she's dark skinned. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. She's a quadroon who is not psychologically loyal to the African race. Kamala Harris is a quadroon. Y'all say she's black. So Drake is black and Amber Rose is black. Stop with the contradictions now. If Kamala Harris is black, so is Amber Rose. Make up your minds. Where is the anti-black hate bill from Kamala Harris? This is what I'm going to say if you support Kamala Harris. We know Donald Trump don't give a damn about black people. We know Kamala Harris don't give a damn about black people. We know this. But if Kamala Harris came to me for a vote. If Kamala Harris came to me for a vote. If Kamala Harris came to the King Kong of consciousness for a vote. Do you know what I would tell her? If you want the vote of black America, listen to me, family. I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand. You need to reach me for podcast interview. Text my phone, 215-989-9858. Her husband is an untouchable, 215-989-9858. I don't vote for bunny hoppers, 215-989-9858. I don't vote for racists, and I don't vote for bunny hoppers, so I can't vote for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. I don't vote for racists and I don't vote for bunny hoppers. So I'm not voting for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. I don't vote for racists and I don't vote for bunny hoppers. So I'm not voting for Donald Trump or Kamala Harris. But if Kamala Harris came to the King Kong of consciousness. If Kamala Harris came to the King Kong. If Kamala Harris came to the King Kong of consciousness. And said, Dr. Umar, I want the American African vote. If Kamala Harris came to the King Kong of consciousness and said, Dr. Umar, I want the American African vote. I would say to Kamala Harris. I would say to Kamala Harris, you need to pass two laws. You ready, mama? Give me one minute. You need to pass two laws. Wait, come on over here. I'm going I'm to I'm have you do a last push for everybody to come out. Tell her you need to pass two laws before Joe Biden's term ends. That's going to benefit the American African people. And if you can't pass two laws before Joe Biden's term ends to benefit the American African people, we can't give you the vote. Tell them about the day, beautiful. So today is our Cultivating and Elevating on Jam. We're going to have community health activists. We're going to have spiritual health activists. Okay. 
give it to him again. All right, come on out, y'all. We got Dr. Umar Johnson, if and today, here at Eastern Michigan University in Ypsilanti. We at the Cultivating and Elevating Black Consciousness Conference. It's going to be hot on jam. We got uh, youth performances. We're going to connect our community um, back to our uh, mental health therapists, black-owned businesses, black mental health therapists, spiritual therapists, physical therapists, so that they will know that when Dr. Umar has to unfortunately leave our presence, that um, there is resources for black people. There's resources for black children. There's resources to help save our youth. It is time for us to rise up, black people. It is time for us to stand up together, unify yourselves. It's time for us to take back our land. It's time for us to take back our economics, our political stance. This is our planet. This is our now. And this is our realm. So come on out support 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 we love you we need you to be conscious of what's going down right now and we need you to come on out and support us all right we're gonna see y'all in a few we heading over there pull up season three to seven today three to seven tomorrow do your thing michigan we in the building one love